Now, just over a month to go until King Charles' historic coronation, where he'll be crowned, obviously, King of the United Kingdom, um, our High Commissioner, Stephen Smith, claims that Australians are already calling off with his head. Um, the, and he is an avowed Republican. But he says it's inevitable that Australia will scrap the monarchy and become a republic. Um, <laughs> what do you think, Gemma? Is this a I matter don't of time so. now that the Queen has passed? I don't think so. I think, you know, obviously, as you said, he's a republic. Republican. I think the Australian Republican movement is on life support. It's not a particularly healthy organisation. It's certainly not... Um, uh, an influential organisation. It's seen as a cause, I think, most Australians are a bit indifferent to it. Like, I, I'm not a, a monarchist necessarily. I'm indifferent. Like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. There are bigger issues facing this country. And I think the, st the political and the historical stability that the monarchy provides Australia it shouldn't be just thrown out. Um, whether or not Mr Albanese puts King Charles on a new $5 <laughs> note or not. Well, I mean, Aaron, you know, clearly the Albanese government is, is tackling the referendum on the voice and Indigenous recognition this year, but you'd think a referendum on um, whether we should be a republic will come next in the next parliamentary term should he be re-elected. Yes, you would think it would, it would be highly likely, particularly if Albanese can get the voice passed, that then he will seek to turn Australia into republic. And I guess you would say probably the, Democrat, the demographics are working for him um, because as younger Australians become more populous and they squeeze people like me out, <laughs> um, I, think it's, I think Republic is more likely. I, I had the privilege when I was younger to work in Britain for a few years and it wasn't until I lived there that I, that I finally understood the popularity of the Queen mm. because in her was this person who symbolised the entire nation, OK? And she was, she was a way to, for people to feel proud right. about yeah. who they were in yeah. a way that an inanimate object can't. Yeah. And it yeah. wasn't until I was there that I really understood why, why it's lasted. All right. Gemma Tognini, Aaron Patrick, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you, Shari.